Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to review Lancome Eye Toll. I have been planning so long to do this review and I'm so late uh, on this one. So this perfume was released in 2019 if I'm not wrong in like July, August. I'm not sure but uh, in that period. So Lancome has some of the best fragrances like in the designer perfumes and uh, their iconic uh, perfume I think which each and every woman who loves perfume might be having is La Vie Belle and uh, that is one of my favorite also. So this perfume was released keeping in mind like women empowerment like uh, to celebrate women and their power. So let's start with the presentation. The bottle of this perfume is really amazing and uh, they have claimed that that is the thinnest bottle in the world like of perfumery. Like you can easily put it on your palm and like you can see through like you cannot feel like if there is a glass even like if you are like catching the liquid with your own hands. But there are some pros and cons of this bottle uh like uh it's a really thin bottle and um if you have like the medium size bottle like which is a 50 ml you can easily put it in your clutch as well and like uh, you can take it if you're going out uh, like for a night out or a dinner or anything like it's not bulky and it is quite sleek so it can easily fit in your makeup bag but this bottle cannot stand you have to keep it like uh, this way in, in in a horizontal position like on your dresser or your vanity. So that is the con. Another very exciting thing is that it comes with the uh, like a casing uh, what I've seen like in some gift sets uh, like we have casings for mobile sets and all this uh, perfumes come has a casing like a rubber casing like to protect it like from breakage or anything might be I'm not sure and uh, the most amazing part of this bottle design is that it is refillable like when this bottle is when you are over with this perfume you can take it to like Lancome uh, refillable station and you can refill it and you don't have to pay the exact same amount of the full like new bottle it's the same concept as uh, Mugler's uh, perfumes that is one of my favorite designer perfume line in the world like their bottles are refillable so this is like something similar to that one and uh, it comes in i guess um i'm not too sure about it 50 ml 75 ml i guess and uh the smallest one is 30 ml and uh, usually the prices in Oman is like 45 to 50 like for like 50 ml I think that will be the price. This perfume has notes of bergamot, pear, uh, rose, jasmine, kaifer. When I first smelled this perfume it reminded me of La Vie Belle. It is not similar to it and if I have to explain this fragrance in one like sentence I will tell it it's like floral musky and it's quite refreshing when you smell it you can really uh, feel like like a fruity it's not fruity but it the freshness is coming from that pear the roses are quite subtle in this fragrance they are not loud at all like um, some fragrances can be some rose fragrances can be quite loud headache like inducing and all this is not like that way this is quite subtle and I guess uh, this perfume is created like uh, for women who prefer light perfumes, like not loud and all. So this is the best one for them. As far as the performance goes, this perfume is not a uh, really well performing perfume or uh, it might be designed like that way, like a skin scent. So um, when I tested this perfume, it lasted on me like uh, for max two hours, but you can uh, smell it on your skin like for like four to five hours, but like you can smell it on the skin, like it's a skin scent, but uh, after one or two hours, it really like quite fades. So there will be people who will love this perfume and there will be people who will hate it. 
people like me who want uh, their perfume and their fragrance to project like uh, to identify like in a group of people this perfume is not that and uh, I really want my perfumes like to perform well if I am paying for a perfume I want it to perform it's a really good like skin scent it is quite elegant and sophisticated so give it a try I would recommend never ever blind buy a perfume first test it so when you are in a mall just give it a try test it on your skin don't test it on the paper on the paper it will be something else on your skin each on each and every skin it a perfume will perform differently so test the perfume on your skin just see how it works i hope you have liked this video and hope this will help your buying decision stay tuned for my future perfume reviews i am going to in this week i am going to upload uh, a perfume review from uh, victoria secrets and so stay tuned for that and don't forget to subscribe to my channel click onto that red button down below right now if you like this video give it a thumbs up and share my video with your friends and family take very good care of yourself bye